This weekend, the search continues for a 51 year old man who was last seen around Laurel River Lake in London. The man is believed to have drowned. LEX 18's Rachel Richardson has tonight's big story at 11. Right now I'm here in Laurel County at the Marsh Branch boat launch where crews from around this county and surrounding areas are continuing their search for a person that might have drowned in this area. Crews from the Department of Kentucky Fish and Wildlife and from London Laurel County Rescue Special Operations Unit have been out in the water using divers, underwater drones and cadaver dogs in their search for a 51 year old man who went missing around the Laurel River Lake area. The initial call came in Friday evening around 519 and went past 11 p.m. Crews were back out this morning at 930. They say they'll continue their search until they find the man. One man, Frank Klusner, who's been coming to this area for a couple of decades, says the waters can get rough. And in this kind of water roughness, you just got to slow it down. This lake is way more popular than it was, say, when I first came 20 years ago. It was Kentucky's best kept secret. Now the secret's out, you know, but it, it's, it's not a really big lake like Cumberland. It's getting as rough as Cumberland between Holly Bay and, and, and Law and um, Grove Marina. Chief John Allen with the Laurel County Rescue tells me that the area that's being searched is half a mile long and between 600 and 700 feet wide. Crews are asking people to be mindful in the water and to stay clear of their search area. Klusner says this water is beautiful, but it's important to stay vigilant. It's a, still a beautiful, beautiful lake. But if you come out here, I encourage people to come out and see it's beautiful, but, but just slow it down and take it easy. There's no wash, you know. I don't know the circumstances of last night or what happened, um, but it's happening more and more. I'm in Laurel County, Rachel Richardson, LEX 18 News. Chief Allen with Laurel County Rescue says the man is not believed to be from the area. He says that local law enforcement has been able to make contact with the family.